I'm Martin Green from the University of New South Wales in Sydney. Back in 1983, I invented a cell called the PERC cell, which uh, stands for passivated emitter and rear solar cell. So if you buy a solar panel now, almost invariably, it'll have one of these PERC cells powering it. Solar cells work very simply, but the physics behind them is quite complicated. So you design the solar cells so that they all move off in the same direction and you provide electrical contact to both the top and the bottom. So uh, like an electric heater, you pass an electric current into it and you get the electricity converted into heat. In that way, you're converting the photons in sunlight into electrons that can flow in any electrical circuit and therefore you're changing light into electrical energy. When we started, you know, Australia was quite isolated, but we just stuck to our own ideas and pushed ahead with those rather than being distracted by, you know, the latest current fad that was moving through the industry overseas. It took us, you know, 30 years to get from <laughs> where we were when we started to get the product that we were really very happy with. We've been fortunate in our work in attracting many people from overseas. You know, originally from uh, Europe, you know, we've been very popular with German scientists in particular because they get much less sunlight in Australia. Because of the oil shortages of the 1970s, there were large international programs looking for alternative ways of generating energy. So we were able to tap into funding aimed at developing alternative supplies. We got very good reviews when they went international. So that stood us in good stead for applying for some of the more competitive funding that's available in Australia. More recently, the Australian government established ARENA, the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, which is tasked with the mission of improving the prospects for renewable energy in Australia. And we obtained funding for an Australian Centre of Advanced Photovoltaics. Having that continuity in funding was really important to our success and probably to the world now having cheap solar cells. The best thing about the invention is that it provides a viable alternative to fossil fuels for generating large amounts of energy. So that now the cheapest way of generating electricity is using these solar cells. That was our dream when we started, but that dream has turned into reality.